Here's a mock-up of what the drawer runner is going to look like. This is the front of the drawer face. And there's going to be a little piece here to support the bottom edge of the drawer. Same thing for the top. I'll put dominoes in on each end on these two pieces and then tie them into the sides. And then I'll have domino these little pieces on both the top and the bottom to guide the drawer to make sure that it doesn't lift up and to give it proper support on the bottom. I'm going to use number six dominoes throughout. This drawer is not going to have a ton of weight, but the number six will probably be overkill. But since I already have it set up for all the other joints, I'll just use the same one. So I've gone ahead and laid them out and I'll make the cuts. To cut the ends of the mortises on the front of the drawer runners, I'm going to use the cross stop, which allows me to capture the edge of each material and center the cut right on the ends without, ha without having to move. One thing I forgot to do, which you do need to do, is readjust the fence depth. This is this stock's thinner than the stock for the actual sides of the drawer runners. And I forgot, on my first mortise, I forgot to reset the depth. So this mortise is actually cut a little bit thicker than what it should be on this side. Now this isn't exactly centered, but when I flip it, the distance between the top of the mortise and the top of the shelf matches the mortises that I cut on the side so that everything sits flush. On um, this one there's a little bit of wiggle room. I did recut it and it looks like there's a, at the end of the mortise there's enough material to capture the domino effectively. I'm not that worried about it. This isn't really a strong this joint's not really for strength. It's more just to close the gap around the inside of the drawer and provide a stop for the top of the drawer. So this is going to be on the top anyway, so there's not going to be any weight on it. And um, it is secured on one side properly, just the other side's a little loose, so I'll live with it. But, you know, the, uh, the important thing is to remember to check the thicknesses of all your material and set the fence accordingly so you don't have this problem. I've got the end of the stock secured with the clamping elements and I'm going to go ahead and make the cut. Here's the completed drawer box assembly. It's got 16 mortises in total, and this is the edge here. You can see the little gap where I had messed up and cut the mortise on the wrong face. Um, when I glue it, I'll try to clamp it to get it as flush as possible, but it's really not that big a deal. I can sand a little bit on the inside if I need to and sand this flush. This is on the top of the uh, the top's going to cover it, so I don't even think you're going to notice it. Um, one other thing, too, when I laid out the mortises, I messed up on the measurement on the bottom piece here, so fortunately with the domino, I was able to cut these slots on the widest setting, and that's what I did. I widened them all so that I could get the piece to fit properly. And again, it's not that big a deal. There's not going to be that much weight put on this. This is mostly an alignment tool and it's going to be long grain glue to long grain glue, so not, not a catastrophic by any means. So the next step then is to cut mortises on the ends of each side. And these will fit in corresponding slots on the front and back stretchers. And I'll cut them on the back as well. And then this whole assembly will fit inside of the table and provide the support for the drawer and also tie the two sides together at an additional couple of points other than just the legs so it'll add some stability to the entire table as well. Cut the mortises on the stretchers on the inside faces to support the uh, 
drawer runner sides. I've aligned a block of wood at 90 degrees to the edge of each side of the stretcher. And then I have a layout line for the center of where the domino slot is going to be cut. And if you line the inside edge of the base plate on the domino to that center line, you'll have the cut perfectly centered. And I'm using the tabs on each side to cut the mortises on the front and on the back. And it's perfectly uh, positioned on the inside of the drawer front. Well, the drawer assembly is done. I fit the stretchers to the assembly itself. Everything lines up. I added some 4mm dominoes across the top and the bottom edge and across the top and bottom of the support. And that's just going to help strengthen these two sections and keep them from bowing in or out as the season moves and it also assure that I've got clearance for the drawer front. There's a lot going on here with all the mortises that I've cut and so what I've decided to do is glue the drawer assembly up as one complete unit and then I'll add, once that's dry, then I'll add the tenons to the ends of each side and glue that to the stretchers whenever I'm ready to assemble the table. I think if I do it in sections it's going to be a lot easier than trying to fit all these parts at the same time and rushing around to get it set and in position before the glue dries. So I'm going to do some light sanding and start the glue up assembly of this. One thing I want to make sure that I do too is sand the inside of the drawer because once it's assembled it's going to be tough to sand with the drawer assembly, the runners here that are raised a little bit from the front of the drawer edge. So I'll get that sand, sand it, do some light sanding on the inside of the assembly, glue the assembly up, and then work on the top. <laughs> 